Hi everyone, my name is Laura. If you are new here, welcome. If you are not welcome back, this is going to be a bit of a different video. I am super, super excited to be filming it because I got some lacing larva to release into my house. I'm so excited. Seriously, I'm so excited. I've been wanting to try this for a long, long time. I've been wanting to try this out for like pests and stuff, but I just never really got around to it. And then a local planty pal actually ordered a bunch of lace wings and had some, like a ton. Like she had ordered like a really massive order cause it was, you had to like order them in bulk, I guess. And she had a bunch left over that she kindly shared with me and with others in our planty community. She was like, oh, I have these lacewing larva available. I was like, yes, save me some. I want them for my house. I'm gonna put bugs in my house. So she did. I went and picked up these bugs from her today and I will show you some of that, of me going over there to pick them up from her and then I will show you how I'm releasing them into my home. My team is super counterintuitive to put bugs in our homes when we usually wanna keep them outside. But I promise you, do a little bit of research if you don't believe me. This isn't going to be a super, super informational video about Lice and Lover. It's just going to be a vlog style video of me releasing them into my home. Okay, hi. Um, I'm here to pick up my bugs and I'm so excited. This is going to be interesting to say the least. Um, yeah, I mean, I really hope that this works. I really hope that... Sorry if you can see like the reflection of everything off my glasses. These are like super cheap glasses, but... Yeah, I'm picking them up from a fellow planty person who is local to me. I'm at her place and I'm gonna pick them up and I will release them in my home. Hopefully, I don't know, they'll take care of the, the bugs I have at home, the bad bugs, because these are good bugs, we like good bugs. Cool, I'll keep you updated. Okay, I got them. I am so excited they're in. So she made a huge order. It was like 4,000. I just like shared some with some people here because she didn't need that money. So I got like two little portions, servings. I don't know. Sorry, I'm just shaky camera, but they're in there. I'll show you when I release them. I'm gonna drive home now, about 20 minutes from home. So I'm gonna start driving home. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm super excited to try these out. I've never, like, I've heard a lot about them, people just, like, mentioning. I haven't really seen a lot of other people on the internet speaking about their experience using lacewing larvae, so I decided to make this video because I feel like we need a little bit more information out there about it because there just isn't a ton of information out there about it. Not sure if I've explained this yet, but I'm hoping that. Ugh. Sorry, this the road here is super, super, super bumpy. Welcome to a state that has four seasons, and the roads just get literally destroyed every single winter. So, you have potholes and <laughs> cracks and bumps. I keep. I realize I keep going. <laughs> say something twice than not say it at all but anyway I don't have a big pest problem right now but I wanted like I had this opportunity to pick these bugs up from her so I thought I'd just take the opportunity to do it since I have I mean I know you can order them online I mean that's what she did but you get these like massive orders and I didn't want to deal with that so I'm really glad that she ordered them and I just wanted to jump on the opportunity of getting some bugs. Okay, hey, what's up? I'm home. We made it home in one piece. 
and I'm gonna release them. So it's been probably like two or three hours since I got home, but I had to do some things around the house first, you know, you know how it is. So I am going to make myself some tea. My hair is just a mess. I'm gonna make myself some tea and then I'm going to release my bugs into my house. This is kind of where I'm gonna release them because there are a lot of plants that are just like one on top of the other. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to remove all of these guys here because they have all my dead fungus gnats on them, but I don't want them to catch any of my new baby bugs. So I'm gonna take all of these over to the trash because again, I don't want to catch all the good bugs in here. And I do have a butter butterwort, like a pinguicula. And so I'm scared that they're gonna end up caught in there. So my butterworts tucked away back there. It has a couple bugs that are dead on it. But I don't really know what else to do. And I do ignore the dirty dishes. I'm gonna do the dishes after this, I promise. Um, I'm gonna get rid of all these. I literally set these out like two weeks ago because I was worried about, I thought I had like fungus gnats again and nothing. This is a piece of my fern that got caught on there. It's not a bug. So I feel bad wasting these, but I definitely would feel worse about accidentally murdering my bugs. Yeah, see, nothing. I don't have any fungus gnats. I thought I did. I like started getting paranoid because I think I saw like one or two. I got a couple new plants. Yeah, another clean one. We got a couple new plants and I think one of them had some fungus gnats. And so I got like really paranoid that I had an infestation again, but I don't think I do. I think I'm okay. And if you saw my plant tour, this probably looks really different to you. And that's because it is. It is very different. A lot of things have changed. Let me know if you want an updated plant tour. I feel like I just did one like two or three months ago, and so I feel like weird about doing another one. It wasn't even that long. It was like a month and a half ago, probably. But if you want one, I love filming them. I love going around and like looking at my plants, but yeah. A lot of things have changed here. Got some matrillies on a lot of plants that didn't have matrillies before. Yeah, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this. I have my bugs here. I wanna be able to show you, but I also wanna be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, so what I'm thinking is that I'm going to put them, I'm gonna move some of these jars out of the way. I'm thinking I'm gonna put these bugs inside of my Brantianum because I did see a couple of spider mites on this guy. I think I got all of them, if not most of them. Wait, that's not how it goes. I think I got most, if not all of them, but I think that's a good one to release my bugs into because it does kind of climb. You definitely can't see where it is climbing, but let me turn my camera a little bit. This plant does kind of climb. I feel like I have so many things in the way here. And it reaches up towards like other plants. So let's see, it climbs, it climbs. So yeah, I'm gonna release the bugs into here. I have a little cup with them. I'm gonna see if I can get like a shot of the bugs. Cause I feel like, and I keep saying the bugs. These are lacewing larva. And this cup, I feel like there's bugs in here. And by bugs, again, lacewing larvae, I feel like there's some in there. You just can't see them because the camera is not picking them up. So I'm going to set this like near my plants or like on my plants because I definitely don't want to lose any bugs. So these little lace wings. I don't know how this will work or if this will work really well or not. I'm hoping it will. Why am I struggling so much to rip this off? She was telling me, the gal that I got these from, that when she opened them, they were like so hungry. They were running around all over the dirt looking for, for bugs to eat. And I was like, yes, perfect. That's what I need.
So this is what that looks like. It's kind of like that honeycomb shape. I wish, I can see a couple in there and I wish the camera could pick it up because, oh, there's one right there. Do you see that little guy moving right there? I just spooked him. Oh, there's another one right there. If you look really closely, you can like see movement in there. I think you can see that little guy. Yeah, he's definitely visible. Okay, sweet, sweet. So I'm going to open this up all the way. I don't want to squish any of these little guys. I see them moving around, like starting to move around on the net, so I definitely don't want to squish them. And I'm going to just take it and like give it a couple taps. Right into my Brantianum. And she was right, yeah, they're clinging on to the mesh for dear life. I don't know if they're... Buddies, I'm trying to feed you. I know you're hungry. I'm trying to give you food. I'm trying to give you food, bugs. <laughs> they're so cute. Do you see that one on the mesh? Yeah, he's so cute. I like how I make one video like, kill all the bugs, and then another video where I'm like, oh my gosh, bugs, they're so cute. Kill all the bugs that hurt my plants. I love bugs. I don't know if you know this about me, but... In my undergrad, I did research with insects. I find like insects super cool. I feel like entomology is like a really cool field to study. And I've always been interested in like insects and like creepy crawlies since I was little. I mean, I don't know if you saw my my plant tour video, but I do have a bunch of reptiles. I do have to feed them insects and rodents and stuff. And I, I don't have an issue with that. I just don't want bugs that hurt my plants. Like I'm personally not bothered by bugs. I'm bothered by bugs hurting my plants, if that makes sense. Okay. So that's what that looks like now. I'm just going to leave it on there and let the bugs kind of do their thing. The little larva, little lacewing larva. I'm going to try to call them by their names and stop calling them bugs because they're lacewing larva. Get it right, Laura. So you can see a little bit of movement in there. They're so fresh. They're so fresh. Okay. I'm gonna leave them alone in here. And this plant kind of touches this plant, which touches the, all these plants. Like these are all interwoven. I'm gonna make sure that this plant is really up in there touching all the other plants. And that way, there will be a good possibility that the bugs can travel around. So I'm gonna put all my plants back. And then I have this cup that had some um, lacewing larva in them, or in it. I don't see them anymore. I tried to shake it out, like onto the plants, but I don't want to lose any of my little lacewing larva. So I'm gonna just set this cup, like, I'm gonna set it up here on my shelf, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna put it right there. So if there's any lace wings in there, they can hang out with the plants up there. I'll give you updates as I kind of move forward with these. I'm excited. I'm excited. So that was for the plants that were down here in my kitchen. Now I'm going to go upstairs and release the rest of the bugs upstairs. So I have this shelf. You have not seen it because I set it up after I did my plant tour and I don't think I've shown anything on there. You've probably seen some of the plants on there. Some of them are new, but I will just film myself um, releasing all the bugs up there so that you can see where else I'm releasing bugs in my house. If you have used lacewing larva in your home as a pest control, please let me know your experience down below. I would love, love, love to know what to expect from these insects being in my home. 
If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you did not, give it a thumbs down. It helps me know what kind of content to make for you, and I will see you next time. Bye!